presentation. Hey, hey, good evening. How are you guys? So, how was your day today? Good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Oh, are well, you talking to me? Oh, sure. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought uh, that you were talking to someone else. I'm fine. I'm good. It was a nice day. I have been laughing and playing a lot. Ah, okay. Laughing and playing. That's great. Ah, good yeah. evening, Ruth. Good evening to you as too. All right. It's because I have a little grandson. Ah, uh, funny. That's great. Okay. And your grandson uh, lives close to you. In the same city, same Santa Tecla. Not not the same neighborhood, but close. Okay. Okay. But that's great. It's always fun to have them around, right? He's so fun. Mm. And today he was especially funny. I don't know what, what was going on, but that was fun. And how old is he? Six months. Oh, my God. He's such a newborn. Ah. He's so cute. He's so little. Yeah, of course. So one day there, uh, he is a little serious sometimes and laugh and plays but not as today today he was a lot of fun with him it was laughing for anything that's good that was a good day to remember it's a good day to have it like that so i was tired but after that i forgot <laughs> <laughs> okay good good to hear that all right eric um gladys ruth how about you guys how was your day Well, uh, this is Eric. I'm doing good. I'm just ready to take my class, and I'm happy to be here. I couldn't be here yesterday, but I'm I, I'm able now to learn a lot of with all of you guys. Great, great. Uh, I I imagine yesterday is because of a party, right, Eric? You were out partying and celebrating and having a good time, and you say <laughs> English. Nah. nah, not at all. English, in, in my case, is first, not everything. Okay. I mean, because I like it English, and I, and I, and I enjoy a lot when I, when I take the class with you. And if I have to do something, I left those things to to wait for a, for a while, and I take the English class. Okay, good to hear that. Good to hear that. Okay. But but yesterday I couldn't be here. No problem. It's no problem. It wasn't at all. my. It wasn't my fault, really. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. 
uh, we'll, we'll tell you a little bit about what we did yesterday in a moment, okay? Okay, um, thank you. The best person to tell you is Roxana because Roxana is very talkative. Roxana, can you give Eric a little summary of what we did yesterday? You see, Eric? Roxana doesn't stop talking. Yeah. You see? I told yeah, you. Because... <laughs> she's a little, she's shy. She's shy. She's shy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe Roxana can hear you. Uh, maybe, I she's think, doing, maybe she's I, doing something else. I'm sure. I'm sure she is because she's, she normally would have answered already. But maybe Marcela. Marcela, can you hi. give, hi, can you give Eric a summary about yesterday? Okay. Um, yesterday, we talked about, uh, how we were like descri describing, um, we were making sentences with, uh, with uh, an adjectives that the teacher gave us. And then we uh, practice a, a conversation with a partner, uh, uh, like in, in, a, <laughs> in a short time. Um, and that was it. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. Um, Eric, if you're not sure about the vocabulary, it's in the WhatsApp group. If you checked yesterday, it's the vocabulary in the WhatsApp group. Or if you are yeah. on the platform, it's also part of the platform. It, it would have been a 2.6, I believe. 2 .6. Yes, we okay. did 2.4 and 2.6, the two videos. Um, 2.4 for the vocabulary and 2.6 was the conversation that we practiced. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If you have a question about the vocabulary, you can ask, and Gladys will be happy to explain the vocabulary from yesterday. Yes, Gladys, you. That's okay. right. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, today we're going to be looking at telling or giving reason. Okay. Um, normally, or I'm sure traditionally, you have learned and practiced to give reason or explanation with the word because. I think everybody here has used the word because, right? Yes. Okay. And it's clear. We, we, we understand why we use it, right? It, we use it when we want to explain something or we want to give the reason for something. Okay. So if we say, for example, okay. Roxana, why didn't you uh, answer Eric's question? She's going to say, ah, because I was looking for the uh, headsets or I was looking for the microphone. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Eric. I was I was like getting in the class, and and the phone. I have a a, a call phone, so a call. A phone call. A phone call. A phone call. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, sorry. <laughs> no, don't worry. It's fine. No problem. No problem. But that's the traditional way that we explain something. Okay, we usually explain it with the word because. Today, we're going to be looking at how to explain it in a different way. We have a couple other ways that we can explain it. We normally, we usually, traditionally use the word because. But today, we're also looking at the word since, for, due to, or the reason. Okay, um, first, can everybody see my screen just in case? Sometimes it takes a moment, so I want to make yeah. sure. Yes, I can yeah. see a teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay. So the idea of this screen is I'm going to send it into the WhatsApp group as well because sometimes people don't have this uploaded. And um, we can see that there's a difference. We use all of them are for giving a little bit of a reason. We're going to watch a small video um, to see if we can help us understand the purpose of them. Okay. Okay. All right. If you want to give reasons, you may do so by using because, since, because of, and some others. Stay, and you will learn not only the meaning, but how to use them. Giving reasons. I like the Casablanca because it's always packed. Since it's always so packed, there's a long wait outside the club. It's popular because of the fashionable people. The Soul Club is famous for its fabulous music. Due to the crowds, the Casablanca is difficult to get into. The reason people go there is just to be seen. 
The reason that people go there is just to be seen. The reason why people go there is just to be seen. To give reasons, we may use because, since, because of, for, due to, the reason that, the reason why, is. Let's begin with because and since. They mean the same, although since is more formal. Because and since are followed by a subject and a verb. Subject plus verb. I love the solo club because the music is great. Because or since can begin or end a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Since is fact, comma, there's a long wait. Or there is a long wait since it's packed. The clause with because or since is a subordinated one, not a main clause. Because of and due to. They mean the same, although due to often has a negative connotation. Because of and due to are followed by a noun or a noun phrase. This is my favorite club because of the great music. Because of or due to can begin a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Due to the crowd, comma, it's difficult to get into. Or it's difficult to get into due to the crowds. The clause with because of or due to is a subordinated clause, not a main clause. Four. Four plus noun or noun phrase. It's famous, well-known, popular for its music. The reason that, the reason why is. The reason Julie goes there is to have fun. Or the reason why Julie goes there is to have fun. Can you answer the following questions given reasons? Why do you think English is so popular? Why do you think there's so much traffic in your city? Write your reasons on our discussion box. Okay, so let's go back a little bit and take a look at the different functions that we have here. The most important are the first ones, because and since. They have uh, the same meaning, right? Okay, so as we can see, the, it says that we have a subject plus a verb, okay? Now, the, in this case, the verb is. The music is, so is great. So when we use because or since, not because of, but because and since, we're going to have an action, okay? Since I am going to the movies, since uh, we have uh, homework, this is the subject, I, we, whatever, and then the action. Both of them are for explaining something, but it's with an action. So it's the noun, whatever the topic is, plus the action. Is this part okay? Teacher is a subject, Correct. noun, and verb. No, no, it's subject and verb. And verb. Yeah, the subject is a noun. So the subject is a person, a place, or a thing. So yeah. It, mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, That's, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 okay. right. Okay, that's because and since. Any other questions for that one? And after the verb, we put the comma. Where where we put the comma? I, Excellent oh, question. It's not in, in this, it's not in because or since. It's an actually, it's very good question, and the comma is in all of those. The difference is that the comma is when you begin the sentence. So if you begin with since, if you begin with uh, the other words that we're going to see, then you have a comma after the first clause. If you have it in the middle, it's not necessary. It's only necessary when it's at the beginning. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Anybody else, any other questions? Okay, now this is, a, this is her answer. 
the answer to her question, sorry. If we look at this, we have since at the beginning. Because we have since at the beginning, we need a comma after the verb. In the second sentence, since is in the middle. So it's not necessary. So it's only necessary when you begin the sentence with these words. Okay. And as they mentioned, because is the common form. This is the normal everyday, you are talking with your friends, you are talking in um, business, you are, you are talking in general, you use because. A little bit more formal, you're going to use the word since. Is that okay for that? Yes, yes, it's okay. Okay, remember anybody, if you ever have a question, just ask and don't worry. Even if we pass the topic, you ask and I go back. All right, now we have the next one. Our next one is because of and do to. Similar to because, but it's not the same meaning because when we use because, okay, of course we can use both of them because of and do to. Do to is normally for negative, uh, something bad has happened, okay? But in here, instead of being followed by a verb, like because, it's only followed by a noun. You see, there's no action. This is my favorite club. Why? Ah, because of the great music. We do not say because of, they play great music. If you have a verb, it's only because. If you have a noun, it's because of. So, a verb, because. Only the noun, because of, or due to. Okay. That's any questions? So a noun or a phrase? A Correct. Noun phrase. That's right. A noun or a, f a noun phrase, exactly. A noun or a noun phrase, but without but, the verb. Now the noun phrase is like that. The great music, for example. Yeah, the noun phrase, the difference is that the noun is only music, but the noun phrase is an adjective, a description, and the noun. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then, okay, we can see here, the same as the question earlier, when do we use a comma? when we have it at the beginning. It's for all of them, it's the same. If you have it at the beginning, you put a comma. If you don't have it at the beginning, it's not necessary a comma. For me, that's the easiest way to remember because they always have a different okay. rule. Usually the rule is like, ah, after the noun, after the noun phrase, after the verb, before the subject. But for me, it's, it's simple. If you begin the sentence with one of the expressions, you know you need a verb. You, you, sorry, you know you need the comma. Okay. Then we have just a little bit more, which there was the comment that we talked about. Okay. And then we have the last one, for, okay? For, similar, it's just a noun, a noun phrase, whichever one you want, okay? So the club, the bar, the city, uh-huh. I heard someone say Santa Tecla um, at the beginning. I think that was Maria when she was talking about her grandson. Is that right, Maria? You, you said you live in Santa yes. Tecla? Yes. Okay. okay, so for example, Santa Tecla. Okay, why is Santa Tecla popular? Why is Santa Tecla famous? Oh, okay, it's famous for El Paseo. It's famous for the street festival. It's famous for uh, the clubs on Friday. It's famous for El Cafetalón. Mm -hmm. But all of those things that I'm describing with for are nouns or noun phrases. The club, the el cafetalón, a proper noun, okay? The, the I don't know, el, el paseo street, okay? The noun phrase. All of those are nouns or noun phrases. If you notice, I did not use an action. I only describe the place, the things. It's okay how to use for? Yes. 
Okay. Now, can I change for for another one? Of course, because we use because of with nouns and noun phrases. So if I want to change, ah, it's famous because of its music. Yes. It's not a problem. Can I say it's famous due to its music? Yes, it's correct. Not common, but it's correct. It's not common because the common is due to when you have a negative thing. A negative thing, as an example, the uh, el paseo is is uh, is closed due to the pandemic. And this is what we mean by negative form. Not that it has a negative word, but it has a negative cognitation. So normally when you use do to is because there's a consequence, an event, or something that's not positive. But you can use it just like because of. Is that part okay? I have a question. Okay, of course. Let me go back. When you have, when you have a paragraph yes, and you use a because of, mm -hmm. a, you can use the same twice in different... Yes, Maria. And actually, in reality, you can use it as, as you can use it more than twice if you want to. The only reason that you don't is because it sounds better when you don't repeat the same words. It sounds better because you express yourself better, like in Spanish, right? Um, you don't want to use the same thing in every paragraph or in every sentence. You want to try to use a variety of words, a variety of lengths or short or longer sentences. It just sounds a little bit better, and it makes the, the reading easier for the, the person who's receiving um, or listening to you. Yeah, okay. My question comes from the fact that I was trying to make the 2.9 knowledge mm. check. Okay. And at the beginning, I used because of. And then the next uh, phrase, uh, I, I will read that is uh, MTV is one of the most popular television networks in the world. Mm -hmm. People love MTV not only, and I use them because of its music videos, but also, and then as a space, I use for its clever and diverse programming. But the second phrase is wrong, it, it, it's not correct. So, and, and I was using because of and for. Are, uh, can be used as the same, uh, the, the word for plus the noun or noun phrase, the same like because of, yes. but in this case, doesn't work. So um, maybe when we get there working in that exercise. Definitely, definitely, we'll take a look at that. And a matter of fact, let me hop over there before we forget because it's relevant before we forget about it and make sure that we're clear. Um, can you help me a little bit in which part was it? The second one. The second uh, one. Uh, and when it says people love MTV, not only because of its music videos, but also I said for its clever and diverse programming, but they say it's not for, I don't know why. Yeah, technically it would be correct because you're just using a noun. There is no, I'm looking at it's clever and diverse. There is no action. There is nothing there. So yes, you, sorry, that's the only one. Mm -hmm. Let's maybe let's read the instructions. Uh, um, type one answer for each space. We only have because, since, because of, for, due to, and the reason, six. How many spaces do we have? One, two, three, four, five, seven. No, so it can't be for re repetition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I can, I, I'll report it, but because you, you should be able to use four as well because there is, it's a noun phrase. Mm -hmm. See, because I was thinking that maybe it was the reason, but the reason, you use the reason so sick. that or the reason why or in, in not the reason it's clever so it doesn't match no 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 it doesn't okay exactly because anytime it's a noun or the phrase it's fine mm -hmm. okay it doesn't match at all you're right mm -hmm. maybe at the end yes the, the last 
uh, 10 seconds. Let's take <laughs> a look. Yeah. Best. Yeah. Let's take a look. Sometimes there is another tip. Okay. Thank you. The reason that, the reason why is, the reason Julie goes there is to have fun. Or the reason why Julie goes there is to have fun. Okay. If you notice here, we have the, the reason uh, that and why is in parentheses. Okay. So the reason Julie goes there is because that and why are not necessary. It's not an obligation to use them. You can use them. You can use that. You can use why. Or you can just have the reason and then the Julie. The reason Julie goes there is to have fun. So when you give uh, the reason, it's just explaining. It's like because of this. That's what you're saying. Because of this, the person does this. And let's watch the last few seconds just in case we missed a tip. But I think it was only the, the questions that we had to practice. Can you answer the following questions given reasons? Why do you think English is so popular? Why do you think there's so much traffic in your city? Write your reasons on our discussion box. No, nothing else towards the end there. So, okay. Oh, wow, we have a lot of people. When I started the video, only a few of us. All right. <laughs> uh, great. That's great to have so many people. Um, are there any questions about how to give reasons about using because of, for, since? Um, I think it was Maria that asked about the 2.9, um, mm -hmm. the second one. And the question was, why there you can only use because of? I think it's just a programming error because the other answer would be for it. Because anytime you have a noun, you can use for or you can use because of. And as I mentioned, you can use do to, but normally do to is something bad that has happened. Uh -huh. And also the, the word number five and the, the, the space uh, number five. Uh, yes, in the same part. Uh -huh. I thought that this uh, number five, I thought that was the reason. That's the, uh, it's musical words it's shows. Uh, it's music award show. Mm -hmm. Then it's a period and I thought that would be the reason. So many people watch, watch it is, so the reason is to see all the fashionable guests, but it says that is not correct. What did you put? The reason. The reason so many people watch it is to see all the fashionable guests. Because I thought the reason so many people are la is to see. Uh, the reason it is, but they, it says that is not correct. You know, I think in, for this one, um, is because even though it's not an obligation, when you write it, you need to choose one of the two. You need to choose the reason that or the reason why. And if you, uh, it, it, uh -huh. and just to clarify one more time, it's not grammatically an obligation, but in the answer, you have to choose the reason why or the reason that. It, you cannot just leave it with the reason. It's not that it's wrong, it's just that the programmer doesn't allow you to have only the two words. You need to have the complete one. I just did and they say it's okay. The okay. reason why. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Good. reason why. Mm -hmm. And so may, the, maybe and the another one will be another trick. Okay. And number two, you said uh, you used because oh, of. Or number. The first one I used because of, and they yeah. say it's okay. Yes. And the second one was the same structure. It, it's clever and diverse programming. So I used to say, I will not use again because of, I will use for. So they say no. Okay. And maybe you can use do too. You can. Do to is also correct. Even when it says do to, it's clever and diverse programming. Correct. I, even though it does say a, a positive thing. Remember, it's common to use do to in negative, but not that it's incorrect grammatically. It's only for conversation. It's common to use it in, in negative forms. Okay. We are trying here. Yeah, go ahead. Try do too. It should be correct. It's true. Thank you, Marina. <laughs> that, that was. Thank you for helping me to earn 25 points. 
Ah, ah, you yes, see? Yes, yes, <laughs> okay. And this is the idea, right? Teacher, I yes, Heidi. I have a question. What what may we study today? In this moment, we we are now we started with two point eight, which was the grammar and the information to do our practice. And in this moment, we are reviewing two point nine, where you have to use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in we started uh, reviewing from yesterday, a little bit. Um, and then we learned a little bit about today's grammar, the different words that we use, like because, since, because of. Then uh, okay. we're checking 2.9 and we're going to practice. We are not going to do the 2.10 because really the 2.10 and the 2.11 is more your responsibility because 2.9 is like Maria and we are doing right now is completing it. Okay. 2.10 is really a listening and everybody is different. Some people understand listening one time, some people understand five times. So the listening, take your time and do it and make sure that you can answer and you understand. And then the last one, the two point, uh, sorry, the 2.11, the last one from, from that is just a reading. And it's if you understand or don't understand the reading and then you choose the answer. Okay, so today, technically, technically, we're finishing lesson two, but uh, we're not because we are finishing that we, f we did the activities. We're going to practice right now conversation with our partners, but we are going to do the, the things on orally. Are you ready? Okay, so we're going to take all of those things and we're gonna practice them uh, with one sentence for each one. So one sentence with because, one sentence because of, one sentence do to, one sentence for, all of the things we want to do one time. Any questions? Okay, if you're not sure, you can check the chat. I'm sorry, not the chat, you can check the WhatsApp and then in the WhatsApp is the picture of all of the words that we need to practice. Or you can look on the platform, 2.8. 2 2.8 and also is all of the words that we're going to make sentences with. Okay. All right, let's make our groups then. Let's go for it if there are no questions. Yes, okay. Okay, we can start with because. Okay, I woke up every day at 5 a.m. because of my work or because of my job. Okay. Um, I, let me see. Um, I, um, I drink, no, yes, I, I, I am drinking green tea because now it's gone again. No, I don't hear you again. <laughs> No? See, now it's now I hear you. Okay. Okay. And and do you know something about uh, Andrea? Because I don't I don't see her and I don't hear anything. Andrea's there, but I don't hear her. Uh, right now. Maybe she's having a, a little bit of technical problem. Uh, 
Yeah. But you go ahead and practice, and when Andrea can connect, when she can. Oh wait, Andrea. Can you hear me? Yeah, there you go, Andrea. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we can hear. We are going to practice this structure or or making new sentences or what? I think that it's making because. I love the Pizza Hut because it's... Repeat, please. Okay. I love to visit Pizza Hut because it's the best place to eat delicious oh, okay. pizza in San Salvador. Um, best place. Where is the next? Yep. Yes. Yes, Same. then the, 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 the verb. And then the verb. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's maybe see the complement. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Since my sister falling in love, or yeah, since my sister falling in love, she she lose her mind. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and that is true. <laughs> no, not at all. Just okay. imagining, trying to <laughs> imagine that. <you're> <laughs> yes, <laughs> no, but it's true because when we got when we got in the image that the teacher sent is because of, but I'm not sure that it's ah, true. okay huh? because of and then due to. You are right. But we can we can uh, practice with with do to if you want. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's okay uh, because of. Okay. Um. Due to the coronavirus pandemic, I haven't been able to went or to go to the beach. Okay. That's okay. Cool. Very good. Uh, but, but but right now you can go, right? <laughs> yeah, but I don't think I would like to go. It's a little bit dangerous. <laughs> you are still afraid of going out. Yes, of the yeah, virus. I prefer just to be here at home. Okay. And Marcela, in Ernesto's sentence, would we use a comma or no comma? Uh he said due to yes because the due to is the the first word uh, yes that's correct that is what we well, mm. in writing it's important that we remember in speaking it doesn't matter we understand yeah. ernesto <laughs> it doesn't matter how we use it but in writing if you have it at the beginning you use a comma yeah good good okay maybe due to um a noun. Uh huh. You should say for, then a noun and or a noun phrase, because it's the same that because of. It's the same use. Okay. Let me see. Uh, I can think of one now. <laughs> right now. Uh, Uh, I like I like orange juice for the flavor. For its flavor. See, for its flavor. Yes, it's nice. Um. <laughs> Mm. Okay, let me see, let me see. Another example with because of could be when this is popular because of 
their delicious food or their delicious burger. Very good, Ruth. Thank you. Um, Daniel, in the sentence that Ruth gave, would we use a comma or no comma? What did you repeat, please? In the sentence that Ruth said, do we use a comma or no comma? Use comma when when the the words is in uh, when I start when the when the when the word when the word. Correct. For example, science. Uh, for example, in science, science is always so packed. In this case, comma. There's a long way outside the club. It's correct. It's correct. Okay. In, what about for Ruth? The sentence that Ruth said. Do we use a comma or no comma? Ruth, can you repeat your sentence, please? Um, using sin. The the same because of you. Do you use? When did you, uh, mm -hmm. of, mm -hmm. uh, when this is popular because of the delicious okay. food. Uh -huh. In this case, not not not. We don't use the comma because uh, don't start with because of. Correct. Very good. Exactly. That's the tip to remember. Only at the beginning, then we use comma. If not okay. at the beginning, no comma. No comma. Okay. okay. Thanks, teacher. Thanks, teacher. teacher. How about you? The reason. The reason for. Uh -huh. It, the reason we don't use comma. <laughs> ah, correct. We don't because we only use uh, for the for the reason we don't. We use the reason that or the reason why. Okay. Mm -hmm. But for the others, yes. Only for the reason, no. Ah, okay. You. You're Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, teacher. Hey, you had a question? Yeah, I was wondering with the. The reason why and the reason that I can use also the because, because I was, th I was thinking the reason why I wake up so early is because I have a lot of things to do on the, in the morning. But if I already used the, the reason why or the reason that um, it's okay to use again, the because or is not necessary or how can I, how can I make that sentence? No, you're correct. It is correct to use the reason uh, why or the reason that you can use because, okay? It's not that it's, it, it, it's not that it's not allowed. It, you can go ahead and use it and it's very common to use it. Um, it it's usually uh, that you use because when you have an additional explanation. Okay, so it's kind of like a, like a cause and effect. Okay, huh. so I say um, Ernesto, for example, the reason Ernesto wears a cap. Okay, it's a good, I don't know, did you finish Ernesto? What, <laughs> what's, the, what's the reason? Why do you wear a All cap? Right. Mm -hmm. Reason I wear a cap is to protect from the sun. <laughs> And you see, Ernesto has two options, is to protect from the sun or is because I want to protect from the sun. Uh -huh. So it's, it's really a matter of preference. Okay. It's usually people use because it, it's just common. It's just because you, you use it all the time. So it's naturally easy to remember because. Uh -huh. But it's not that it's an obligation to use, like Ernesto just used. Ah, is to protect from the sun. Uh -huh. Okay. I, I could say, I could say then um, the reason I wake up early every morning is to um, make Sorry. a lot of things in the day, in the morning. I don't know. Yes, instead of using to make, mm -hmm. you use to do. So uh, the reason I wake up early in the morning is to do a lot of things uh -huh. in the day. Uh -huh. But correct. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Um uh, Can I use for instead of to? 
For mm. example, the mm -hmm. reason why I, I am wearing a, a cap is for protecting using an ING. Yes, if you use ING, you can change, you have to, no, you can't. You have to change the two for four. The two is no ING and the four is ING. That's the rule. Four. Two, no ING and four, obligation ING. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Karen, for you, any questions? No, right now, teacher. Huh, I'm trying to, I am trying to be awake. <laughs> <laughs> I see. It's a long day. It's a long day. You think, ay, ay, 15 more minutes. But no. <laughs> I, 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 am, I am watching the clock every one minute, you know, and it feels that, that the oh, time is long. Yeah, especially when you're tired. When it when you're tired or it's been a long day, you feel <gasps> the last few minutes of an activity. You say, "Oh no, I have to, almost, almost there." Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'll let you guys continue practicing. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. The reason why or the reason that. Any questions? Are you guys okay? I was telling them that I don't don't come easy to me examples for the reason that and the reason why. Okay. Um, example, Gladys. Gladys, why do you study English? Um, don't worry yeah. about the grammar. Only give me the reason. Don't worry. Only tell me why. Why do you study English? I'm going to give you the sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, because I love the, the language. Okay. And what are you going to do with the language? I'm going to use it for uh, connect with people around the world. Okay. The reason that... Gladys studies the language is to connect with people around the world. Why that and not the why? I like that more. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that is a good reason. <laughs> yeah, I, I always find that that sounds a little bit more professional and why always sounds like a little bit like you're making a question. And so I always feel that that, that sounds better in the sentence than why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. it, but but okay. both of them are correct, Andrea. It's not that one is, you know, it's just my preference. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So, Maria, okay. Why did you see your grandson today? I always go there. <laughs> okay. I, I go there to help them to take care of him. Okay, exactly. The reason that I saw him today is, and then uh, to help them take care or to help my, I don't know, grand, my son or my daughter, I don't know whose it is, um, to help them my take son. care. Okay, mm -hmm. to help my son take care of him. Mm, well, to, ha to help them. Uh, okay, to help them. Is my, my, my daughter-in-law. So the, the two of them are, are making home office and oh. it's extremely demanding and, it is. and because of the pandemic uh, there is not uh, someone else who can go I, I am the one who lives closer okay. that's why i go to help them from Perfect. monday to friday he is my boss <laughs> <laughs> great great but this is the way that you use the reason that or the reason why it's just given an explanation it's Usually it's harder when you first think about it, but the more you practice, the more you realize, ah, it's actually pretty easy to use, okay? Mm -hmm. The reason that I teach, the reason that I teach is, and I can even use two words, I can use because. The reason that I teach is because I like my job, okay? The reason that I teach mm -hmm. is to, uh, to meet new people is to uh, help people get uh, better jobs, is to whatever the reason. And the idea is 
you can use different forms. You can use uh, the word because and connection or just the, just the action. Now, in another group, they ask something very important, okay? When you use to, you use the base form of the verb, okay? If you use to, it's only the verb, to work, to study, whatever the reason is. But if you use for, you are going to use an ing. I, the reason I see my grand sub is for helping them. Is f the reason I study is for connecting to other people. This is an obligation. You cannot mix. If you use two, you have to use the base form. If you use four, you have to use ing. Okay. 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 Yes, it helps. It helps, especially later that when you're trying to think when to, when for. It's for is obligation ing. To its obligation, the base form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when Andrea was telling us why the reason why, uh, that uh, she is not using the camera, and she said because it's broken, and, and we thought that she couldn't use the reason and because in the same sentence. But uh, now you said we can. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, 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 you can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because in this case, in the case of Andrea, is she can't do an action. She has to explain the action. So oh, okay. she, can't, she can't say the reason that I'm use, I don't use the camera is to uh, avoid seeing you. It's because there is nothing. It's, it's a reason for that action. That's why she has to use because. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, I don't know if you guys remember, but this has to do with the active and the passive voice. I don't know if you've seen the active and passive. Hardly in Spanish. Hardly in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it gets a little bit more technical, but it has to do with if you do the action or if you receive the action. So that's why we always use to because we do the action, to help, to assist, to work. But if something happens, then you use because. Because, uh, you know, the, the camera, is broken not that andrea is breaking the camera but the camera receives the action this this is but we'll see a little bit maybe you'll see it a little bit later on but this is the the real technical reason why in some situations it's okay in other situations it's not okay all right i'll let you guys go ahead and continue practicing so when when we oh, do yes. the action yes yes go ahead go ahead maria Mm -hmm. See, I, I was asking if you said that when we do the action and I miss the, the second part of the sentence. No problem. When you do the action, you're going to use the two or the four, right? Is to whatever activity is to help, is to, to meet, to whatever we have. But uh -huh. when, when an object or a thing that we're talking about receives the action, that's normally when we use because. Because the camera is broken for example okay is because the camera is not doing the action the, the camera is receiving the action that's why we use because oh, okay see it's okay. a little more clear okay good good i'll let you guys practice the last few before we our time is almost up because it's amazing it's already only a few minutes left yeah wow it's true time flies before yeah Okay. It's okay. <laughs> teacher, teacher. Tell me, tell me, do you have any questions? Is everything clear? Mm, yes, yes, teacher. I, I it's, it's, it's difficult for me, but I trying. I, I am trying. That's all you can do is this is the only way to improve. The, the only way to improve is by trying. Yes, it is. Okay. Good. Let's go back to the big group. Okay. Okay. I heard many of you practicing. Um, 
Celia, I didn't hear you at all practice. Do you have any questions? No, I don't have any questions. Okay. I already clarified my dog. Morena clarified my dog. I was just going to say, I think Morena was, I hear Morena explaining that a lot today, which is really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's great. Good job, Morena. Good for helping each other out. Does anybody have any questions? Um, anything that's not clear? Um, when to use because, when to use to, when to use for, any of those different things. Maybe you tried in your group you're not sure about. Okay. All right, then before we finish the class, let's try one example with each one in the group to make sure that it's clear for everybody. All right, so let me take a look and I will tell you which ones we're going to do. Uh, hang on, let's see, okay. All right, uh, Daniel, you are going to make a sentence with because and Marcela is going to check if it's correct or not correct. Maria, you are going to make a sentence with since and Ruth is going to check if it's correct or not correct. Karen, you're going to make a sentence with because of and Eric is going to check if it's correct or not correct. Andrea Martinez, you're going to make a sentence with for and Morena is going to check if it's correct or not correct. Gladys, you're going to do one with do to and then Ernesto is going to check if it's correct or not correct. And Heidi, you're going to do the reason that, the reason that, and Celia is going to check it. And Roxana, you're going to do the reason why, and Claudia is going to check it. And Amner, you are lucky because I don't have any more sentences to give. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daniel, go for it. Okay. Espérame que lo perdí, pero. Okay, I love to pick the hat because it's the best place to eat delicious pizza. You don't wear a pizza hat. Le pegué, le pegué, sí. <laughs> I, I, am, I am checking it, right? You are checking it, Marcela. You are checking it. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's okay. It's okay. You're right. Okay. It's okay. Yes. Thanks, Marcela. Thanks. Yes. Okay. Maria? Okay. My turn. Since I live in Santa Tecla, I enjoy so much its weather. Ruth, that's you. Okay, I have to check it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if he used a comma. Ah, uh, no, that part is no, is no problem. That part is no problem. It's only for the speaking part. Mm -hmm. But I wrote the comma after Santa Tecla. I think it's correct, teacher. It is. Thank it you, is. Ruth. Thank it you, is. Ruth. Good job. All right. Karen? Uh, because of the pandemic, many people have lost their job. I guess it's okay. Good job. All right. Good job, the two of you. Andrea? Uh, pupusas are well known for its flavor. Its flavor. Morena? Um, I didn't listen very well. No problem. Andrea can repeat. She has time. Okay. <laughs> Pupusas are well known for its flavor. Yes, it's correct. Okay, good job. Good. It's for its for their flavor. Good. Gladys. Um, due to my binge for anime, I've been wasting away a lot of time. Uh, can you repeat the sentences eh? Yes. Um, uh, due to my binge for anime, I've been wasting away a lot of time. Uh, 
Yeah, I think it's correct. It is correct. Yes, due to my binge for anime. Yes. Good. I think it was Heidi or was it Andrea? Heidi? I am. Okay. Um, the reason that um, got late was the rain. Celia, I think that's you, right? I think so. Okay. Um, but I think it's not completed. Okay. What do you think is the correct? Uh, because she said the reason that, but I didn't understand what she said after that. The reason that I got late is because of the rain. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, it's correct, I think. Okay, it's pretty good, but you don't you're not going to use got, you're going to use came. The reason I came late. Came late. But good. Came late. Yes. Okay. And Roxana, I think you're the last one. Yes. Uh, the reason why they got sick is because they don't use mask. And I think your partner, Claudia. Not, Claudia. Ah, oh, yes. Repeat, repeat, Roxana, please. Yeah. The reason why they got sick is because they don't use mask. Mm, that's correct. That is correct. Very good. Everybody learned today's lesson. Remember to finish lesson two. Practice the listening, the reading, and the the knowledge checks and I see you tomorrow. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Good, Good night, night everybody. Good night. Bye. 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 Thank you.